Hello, in this video I would like to show you how to create a fully rotatable earth using Motion 5. And this is it. And uh, let's try to rotate it along the vertical axis. Now we can go all the way to America and then to Asia and back to Europe. Yeah, let's reset this. And obviously also works fully in the other direction. Asia, America, and Europe again. Yeah, let's reset it. Now the incredible thing is that it also works if we rotate along any other axis, for example. Let's try to go north and here we are in between America and Asia. Oh, that's Australia there. And let's try to go the other way around. Here's the South Pole and New Zealand and Australia. And there we are. Okay. Ready to see how this is done? Well, there's something that gives away. And you see here, it says seven objects. So let's open the layers. And here's how it works. Obviously, this is based on a sphere filter, and this is just a visual distortion, it's not real 3D. But here is uh, what makes it possible. So let's turn the filter off in order to see what the original undistorted image is. And let's zoom out all the way. Now you can see it. So we have the blue marble from NASA, central image. And then we have copied it on both sides in order to give continuity of rotating along the vertical axis. And here is the trick for the rotation along the horizontal axis. You need to take the same image, copy it, but also um, flip it. Now, Turns out that uh, Motion 5 doesn't have a flip command, at least none that I have found. So the way to flip an image is actually to uh, take the handle and then go all the way past the other handle until it flips. Yeah. And uh, you can use a dynamic guide to help with the positioning. So here we are in position correctly, aligned to the rest. And once again, let's reactivate the sphere filter, which might take a bit. The image is very complex. And fit the window. Black to the blue marble. And uh, here we go. Hope you enjoyed this trick uh, and uh, yeah, to the next one.